Hey everyone, Tragic is here and late to the party as usual. I finally got my War of the Spark boxes in from good old Sports and More on the old eBay. Um, in my quest to pay the cheapest price for this box, which I did, uh, I had to sacrifice by getting it a little later than everybody else in the world. But they're here now, and I'm going to start opening some packs. Which is what you do when a new set comes out, am I right? Look, I totally just reorganized that whole thing. So, here's the bottom packs first, let's see. So I'm hearing a lot about how the Mythic slot in this set is a little bit different. Where, Well, I don't know about if it's different, but you can actually kind of uh, predict what you're going to get based on um, when you start seeing your mythics. So we're going to test that out. Am I going to get a uh, finale box or hopefully something better than that? But I did get a Teo, the Shield Mage, and a Mizium tank for my first rare. So let's do here. Uncommons, rares, demon tokens, other stuff, commons, things, stuff. Next pack. How are you guys doing today? Have you had a chance to play with this set? I haven't. I never get to play this game. And we're going to go quickly because everybody's seen the commons already. You only care about the uncommons. You got a Cruel Celebrant, a Bond of Passion, a Flux Channeler, and a Nickel Bolus Dragon God. Well, that was the middle bottom pack there. So I, uh, I ruined this box opening um, by doing this one first. But I guess, hey, I'll take it. I'll take it nonetheless, right? Okay, so... Maybe I won't get a finale box here. Cool zombie army token guy there. All right, the last bottom pack. And then we'll start from the top. Do, 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 do. I should probably look at all these. I like the commons, but that's not what you want in a uh, box opening video, right? Got a Kiora, Behemoth Beckoner, and an Enter the God Eternals. There they are entering get all entered we got a foil bulwark giant it's a thick girl right there cool token land all right what else we got ironclad crovod oh i'll look at these all later just roll around in a pile of commons look at that gideon riding rakdos come on who doesn't love this stuff i love it Tybalt's Rager, Heartwarming Redemption, poor Gideon, and a Davriel. It's a good, uncommon planeswalker. And we got a Storiv, which is not that great of a rare, I believe. But Golgari needed some love in this set. I like the fact that uh, they didn't totally forget the, the guilds. Um, so to me, that still makes this feel like a Ravnica set, even though it's not. Um, so I'm probably going to pull some cards out of this for my cube that I'm perpetually building for the Ravnica block. Z blocks. D-Spark. This is Triumph. And it's a Fairy Time Raveler. Well, I guess we figured out what kind of box I got here. We got the box with the good Planeswalkers, I hope. Fingers crossed, right? Still, there's a lot of packs left to go. Next up, next up, next up. Kiora's Dam Breaker. Break that dam. A Raging Crunch, a Primordial Worm, a Spark Harvest, Sunblade Angel, Interplanar Beacon, not Bacon, a Jaya Venerated Fire Mage, and a Plain Wide Celebration. Sure, why not? It's like the end of uh, Return of the Jedi. The Ewoks dancing around. We won! Yay! Cool. Oops. Martyr for the Cause. Some of those... Crunch Wrangler. A bunch of crunches in this set. Augur Bolus. Good reprint right there. Tyrant Scorn. Nahiri. Nahiri Storm of Stone. And a finale of Devastation. So I guess that's the good finale, right? I'm going to go out with a bang that Carnage Tyrant right there. Um, that's Keeper. Keeper number one. Got a Bane Hound. Ah, that's cool looking in foil. Look at those eyes that there and this one here and that one goes there and these are here moving on next pack <laughs> i 
I need to solidify my smooth pack opening style here. War Screecher. Aid the Fallen. Band together. Leyline Prowler. Augur Bolas again. Lazatet Plating. And a Vivian. Champion of the Wilds. That's cool. I like the little ghost hound and bear there. Solid. My pet my piles are not solid, of course, as usual. Okay, do do, do. Callus Dismissal. Jace's Triumph, Flux Chandler, Dreadhorde Twins, and a Ral Storm Conduit. Wow! I'm getting so many planeswalkers. Blind Blast. Pack next. Here we go. Trying to do it backward. Pouncing Lynx. Goblin Assailant. Oops. Go, go, go. Raskus Finisher. Ble Bleeding Edge. Oops. I'm all messed up. Tyrant Scorn. Kaya. Bane of the Dead. And Finale of Eternity. Oh, here come the finales. Here come the finales. Well, at least I got a Nicol Bolas, right? Okay. Get the sergeant. Snare spinner. Charm stray. I do like this card. If you could only have so if you could have an unlimited amount in a deck, it'd just be ridiculous. Sunblade Angel. Bond of Revival. I like these bond cards too. Again with the uh, the Ravnica theme. Kawatli, the Sun's Heart, and the Casualties of War. Is that a good one? I don't think it's worth a lot, but it sure is versatile, right? Costs a lot, though. All right. Need more Mythic Planeswalkers and less Finale Mythics, right? Herald of the Dread Horde. Giant Growth. There's the Doggo. D Spark again, Bond of Insight, Kazmina, whoops, and a Deliver Unto Evil with the best art in the world from Seb McKinnon. That is really nice. I need that on a play map, probably. Got a Foil Flux Channeler. Good deal. There's a Voja token. Fairy's Time Twist, New Horizons, Domer's Ambush, Grateful Apparition, Samut, or Samut, I've heard it said both ways, and a Tulsimar, Friend to Wolves. Nice little addition to a Selesnia deck there. Next up. Crunch, Crunch. Cross Cross Revolution. Storm the Citadel. Bond of Flourishing. Kiora. And a Parhelion 2. I like the vehicles. I don't know if it's. Is that usable? 7 mana. I'm sorry, 8 mana to lay it down. Then you gotta do some stuff with it to make it go. It's cool. I still like it. One of these days, I will get this pack open and we'll go. Ashiok Skulker. Jai's greeting. Bloom Hulk. Okay, Rowl's Outburst. Bolt Bend. Arlen, Voice of the Pack. And a Mizium Tank. And a Citizen Token. Cut. I don't think there are any good commons in this set anyway, so I'm just going to go right on by. Chandra's Triumph, Interplanar Beacon, The Wanderer. I actually want to try and mess around with this card. It's got There's a combo that can do something with that. And the Soul Diviner, I think this is a good card too. Remove a counter from an artifact creature, land or planeswalker you control to draw a card. I think that's got a lot of potential. But what do I know? I don't get to play. Crush Descent. Oh, yeah, Descent. Oh, get crushed. Teo's Light Shield. No escape. 
The ghost form. Spellgorger weird. A dread malkin. Armor zombie cat. Elite guard mage. The captain of chaos. Dun, 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 captain chaos. An awakening of V2 Gazi. A dragon token. Moving right along. The goblin assault team. Guild globe. Watley's Raptor, more dinosaurs. Price of Betrayal, another good one. Dovin, Hand of Control, and a Tomique, Distinguished Advocist. Well, they gotta spell it all weird, right? I'm sure I'm missing something. Zombie Army. Moving right along. Gateway Plaza, Bond of Discipline. Elite Guard Mage, Obnixilis, the Hate Twisted. He's just twisted up by his hate. And a Dreadhorde Arcanist. Not sure. Got a full Gateway Plaza, which does look cool in foil. About halfway through this box already. New Horizons, Toll of the Invasion. Defiant Strike, Mana Geode. Bolt Bend, Bond of Insight, Tybalt, Rakish Instigator, he's still useless, right? And then the Heb, Dread Horde Champion, Zombie Minotaur Warrior. I do like that the Amonkhet creatures and gods are in the invasion here, but they kind of seem out of place. But I guess that's kind of the point, right? They're an invading army from another plane. Totally lost as I spend most of my life, right? Vizier of the Scorpion plating Heartwarming Redemption and the Chandra Fire Artisan. Whoops, there go my uncommons. They go here. And good old Chandra. Seems like it's hard to get a good Chandra Planeswalker. Here's an Assassin token. That is cool. I like tokens. Sue me. Blind Blast, Battlefield Promotion, and some other stuff. Bond of Discipline, Dovin's Veto, Mowu, 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 Loyal Companion, Good Doggy, Ah, Ugin the Ineffable, perfect. That's a good rare. I do like what they did with the Planeswalkers here. I mean, they essentially made them enchantments that can do some cool stuff. Um, and the rare ones being pretty useful, they just don't have an ultimate. I think they're going to be perfectly playable. Um, and I think they will hold up over time. So I'll be getting the ones that I like to hang on to, probably, and maybe use someday. Goblin Assault. Paradise Druid. Rawls Outburst, Price of Betrayal, and a Jace, Wielder of Mysteries. We've got a Vivian's Arc Bow, there's my full rare. Very cool. Love the effects around her head there. That's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Show me what you got in this pack. Martyr for the Cause. Some other commons. 10th District Legionnaire, another cool card. Rescuer Sphinx, Finks a Sahili, Sublime Artificer, and a Bolus of Citadel, another good one. You may look at the top card of your library. Anytime you play the top card of your library, if you cast a spell this way, pay life equal to its converted mana cost rather than pay its mana cost. Tap it to sacrifice 10 non land permanents. Each opponent loses 10 life. Cool. Is that good? I think it is. Time twist. Oop, oop. Rubble Belt Rioters. Rally of Wings. Teo, the Shield Mage again, and a widespread brutality. Oops, over here. Sprint. 
Courage, Shriek Diver, Charm Stray, Cruelty, Bleeding Edge, Tybalt's Rager, Dovin's Veto, and a Sarkhan, the Masterless, Rare Planeswalker. Okay. Getting down to it here. Could use a couple more Mythics. Just saying. Leyline Prowler, Mowu, Vraska, and a Command the Dread Horde. I think this is the other card that can combo with the Wanderer. I'm going to try that out, I think. Oops. Open the packs. Ma'am Devil, Devouring Hellion, Narset, Parter of Veils, and a Roalesque Apex Hybrid. Not one of the better mythics. Uh, but it's a Simic Mythic. And a Servo Token. Cool. Can I get a Liliana out of this box to go with my Nicol Bolas? Probably not likely. I can dream, right? Bond of Passion, Ugin's Conjurant, Kaya, and an Ignite the Beacon. Next one. Oops, there we go. More crunches. Totally lost. Paradise Druid, Gleaming Overseer, Huatli the Sun's Heart, and a Roll Reversal. Got an Elite Guard Mage for my foil. No Escape. Eternal Skylord, Rally of Wings, Ashiok. And a story of that was like the same pack I got in the beginning there. I think. Rewind the tape. Battalion plan. Finisher. Chandra's Triumph. Ugin's Conjurant. Jaya again. And a time wipe. packs left here. Evolution Sage, Gleaming Overseer, Samet again, and a Solar Blaze. Whoop! Turret Ogre. That's nice. Kowatli's Raptor, 10th District Legionnaire, Rescuer Sphinx, and Nissa, who shakes the world. Look at the world. It's all shaky. Aven Eternal for a foil. Two packs left. Can I get one more Mythic? Four is, four is a pretty good number for a box, I think, right? Five would be better. Whoops. You know what? It can just stay right there. The Snare Spinner. The Prismite. Got a Johnny's Pride Mate. Neoform Arlen. And a Silent Submersible. Nothing great there, although I do like vehicles. All right, last pack. <laughs> got the Crovod, got the Weird, got the Greeting, got the Hulk. Very nice. A Death Sprout, Eternal Taskmaster, a Jiang Yangu Wildcrafter, and the Elder Spell. And that's going to do it for this box. My first box of War of the Spark. So, let's see how I did. I'll scan it up.
All right, the Mythics. A Robolesk is three bucks. Finale of Eternity. Couple Finale of Devastation. Nine bucks there. And a Nicol Bolas Dragon God. 29 currently. So, according to that, minus a few that got through that were under 50 cents or so, I probably got about 125 bucks out of my box. Uh, so I think it did pretty good. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments and uh, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.